Okay, we are back. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with my co-host, Andrea Kay, and our other co-host is Urban Miaris. We have our next guest. In the, uh, in the spirit of the season here, we're you staying bet. today, we have John Farrell from Farrell's Fireside. Welcome. Thank you. Great, great, great to be here. Great. People don't think of San Diego as being like a cold weather enough town to have fireplaces. I know. Uh, I know when I first got here and I told people I was cleaning chimneys in San Diego, they couldn't believe it. You know, like who uses the fireplace out here? And, but really, it's, it's a perfect climate for it. It really is because the area type of stoves that we have will take the heat off. They don't have to heat the whole house, but some of them do. But people need some heat. And it, uh, it does get colder, and especially up in the hills, it gets very cold. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but uh, the new gas type, a uh, perfect. You know, they're beautiful looking, and and they give you that heat you need when you need it. So Heck yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about um, you know the overall structure of what you do. To um, you, you're not just fireplaces; you do a lot more. Right. We have a, a store up in El Cajon on Second Street, and uh, we have everything to do with fireplaces. We clean them, we repair them. People call, they'll have a gas unit or a pellet stove or even a wood stove that they need serviced. We do that. We also, you know, have the store will sell wood, gas, and pellet stoves, um, any type. We have numerous brands. We have the top of the line. Uh, we have a great, great selection. So really, any anyone that has anything to do with fireplaces, we'll do mantles. We'll give people ideas on how to reface their fireplaces. And uh, so we're all around uh, service. Yeah. So is is the business mostly new sales or service? How does it break down? I'd say it, in the store it's um, a fifty fifty. We have we have a, a right now two or three service trucks going out servicing fireplaces, and uh, you know and then we have installs every day of installing the the new stoves that they buy. So it's a very seasonal business though. Right. It's um, well, do you work with contractors at all and, and do new construction? Definitely. We do contractors, designers, um, and, and the whole bit, you know, so we won't do, uh, we're not too specialized in the track stuff, you know, with someone right. building three, 400 homes, mm-hmm. that's a different type of thing, but we'll do the custom homes, the lo- you know, the people building these bigger homes. Uh, yeah. What's so kind we'll of the trends them. right now in, in the, the custom homes? The trend now in the really high end homes are these linear type european fireplaces what does that mean the the gas they they like the long it's a long thin type and so they're very stylish right now okay more of a modern look it is it is a modern look yeah for a while it was like a european tuscan stone kind of thing for a while okay it it is the modern look in in the new homes but we still have uh you know people it it depends on their look Mm -hmm. and uh you know the regular classic stuff is still very very popular typical Wood burning look, you know, and wood burners are still very popular. And uh, people, some people insist on wood. They love wood, and wood can be a, a very good product if it's sold in the right environment. So, no. Well, it's what's just, the right environment then? Well, it, it, it so if you have time, it, it's like for me, I'm single, I'm in and out of the house. I need something where I can get on, get the gas quickly and get out. But a lot of people are at their home, they're there all the time. They can build that wood fire and nurse it. And uh, so it depends on, on the, the it environment. It depends on your lifestyle because it sounds lifestyle, like you're like me. Sure. I have I have three fireplaces in my house, actually. And I like the gas because if I get up in right. the morning, I can turn it's it wonderful. on while I'm getting ready. Yeah. Then I can turn it off and leave. Exactly. You light even one of those... Those uh, you the, probably, the logs, the, yeah, the logs, logs, like yeah. the fast it, logs. You got to, you got. That's like no, a four-hour, five-hour commitment. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, mm. but up up in the mountains, a lot of people are on propane, so they like to burn wood instead of the the propane gas. A little more expensive, but if you have natural gas coming into your house, it's still the very best value. The area type gas type of uh, direct vent heat is by far the, so, the most economical. So if economical. you have propane, it's more expensive. It is a little the, more expensive, but gas is still good, but uh, it's not as good as the natural gas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As and then you're right. Value. I don't have to heat up my whole house. Exactly. I don't have to turn on my exactly. heater in my house. Yeah. I can just heat up the room I'm in, get yeah. ready to, to leave, and I'm done. And, yeah. and there's ways to make gas look just as beautiful, in my opinion. Stuff now, is, it looks great. It, you know, we have stuff at the store burning. People swear that's wood going there, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, yeah. very, yeah. Is is there any kind of, uh, you know, I, I think about, you know, the fireplaces for heat and, you know, the 
uh, fireplace is about as old a technology as we right, have. Right. Is there any new technology in yeah, fireplace? Definitely. Like the old technology is the open type of fireplace where the wood's burning. It's just the typical one that you'd see back, and people still have it. It's the open one, the burning wood. They don't put out really any heat we're talking about. It's the new type with the sealed units, the sealed glass in front. That's the very, you know, even the wood stoves that are sealed. Because it takes the heat. the heat and it regenerates it? That's it, yeah. yeah. And they're not pulling a lot of air from outside the house into the house. That's what really kills you on the open fireplaces. You have to pull that cold air in to get up to the fireplace. On the new ones, it's all positive heat. They take air from... It doesn't yeah, do a heck of a lot right. for Santa Claus, but it does good for That's right. House. That's right. <laughs> so, so do you get uh, upgrades, uh, especially those that have the older fireplaces to go live in track homes? Oh, of course. We, we sell a lot of that. Mm. They're called inserts. And we can stick the gas insert the direct vent right into the open fireplace and then make it a sealed unit. A lot of people are doing that. It's a great idea because they're not getting any heat out of their, their old fashioned type. And then they put the insert in and well, what I'm really excited about some of the stories, uh, for those uh, listening, uh, we heard some, <laughs> I call them tales from the hearth. Well, <laughs> but, uh, you got to write well, a book well, on some of these stories. Well, I, uh, <laughs> we could do a whole hour just on them. I'm sure. Well, we were, we were talking about every year you see in the paper, uh, somebody caught in a chimney. They have these ideas they're going to get in the house, and they're, they're squeezing down this chimney. And before long, the fire department always has to come and either knock down the chimney or they have all these, these ways of doing it. But every year you see it, at least one picture of somebody caught there. And uh, the one I liked the best was the guy hanging inside the house with his head <laughs> down to the floor. His legs are still caught up in the chimney, and he's... <laughs> and he was trying to rob the house, so they, I, they got oh, a picture of him, yeah. Uh, and, he, and he didn't have a red outfit on or anything. No, 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 it wasn't no, Santa okay, Claus. Yeah, no, no, okay. no. no well, I like the story of the woman. I think you said she was like 45 years old. They had to, they, they had to like put some grease or some right, vegetable right. oil yeah, that, or something. That only happened here not a couple of weeks ago. And I guess <laughs> she was stuck in there, and they had to grease it up and then they just slid it back out so <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, okay <laughs> okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna go off track and i'm gonna ask you to do do me a favor if sure. we can find some pictures or some videos of oh, yeah. some of those i know, know i put great, up i put yeah. up a youtube uh channel with all of our interviews including yours great. and if we get some of That'd those pictures funny. let's put that right on right <laughs> let's on go there. viral let's yeah. start it here let's start it here yeah <laughs> That will be great. Yeah. You listen to Close Up on Sending a Business here on KFSD AM 1450 at Bloomberg Radio Station, streaming live on the web at financialnewsandtalk.com. Give us a tweet at Close Up SD or find our face on uh, find our face on <laughs> find our face on Facebook. No, find our page on Facebook. We want to hear from you. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. Here my co-host Andrea Kay and Urban Miaris, and our guest is John Farrell from Farrell's Fireside. Now you do more than fireplaces. You also do barbecues yes. as well. Tell us about that. We uh, we have uh, Fire Magic barbecues. They're mostly the built-in type, uh, the stainless steel, and uh, we have a full. Fire Magic, I think, is the best barbecues out there. So it's uh, uh, we got a full array of it, and we do outside fire pits, and uh, it's it's uh, you know it's mostly the built-in though. We don't don't do too much of the freestanding ones, and uh, but we have a, a nice selection at the store, and uh, you know we service them. If uh, people have problems with them, we also service the barbecue. So. Well, I have a great offer for you. You know, What's come that? over and build one at my place, <laughs> yeah. and you can come and, and show it anytime. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Turn your house into a That's showroom. Right. That's right. Your it, all, it already is. That's what keeps my kids' friends out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, the fireplace, you know, is an amenity uh, for real estate value. It's yeah, very it big. definitely yeah. enhances it. Everybody, yeah. w you're buying a home. That's one of the questions they always ask. Now, after the bathrooms and kitchen, yeah. is do you have a fireplace? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, well, I tell people in San Diego, if they don't have a fireplace, the real estate value is down. You know, I tell people some up to $10,000. But I see a lot of houses. I, I was brought up in the North Park area, and a lot of those older houses, the chimneys were no good anymore. And uh, I've seen sales stop because the people wouldn't repair the, the fireplaces. And the mm -hmm. people... They really like them, and we do repair them, so yeah. they're always, you know. And, and I assume you do free estimates. Somebody wants oh, to get absolutely. it done. So, sure. so that's sure. a great reason to call, which leads me right to the next uh, topic here is uh, why don't you tell our, our uh, listeners how they find you on the web? Okay. You can get us at www.farrells.net. Okay. 
And you're you're located down on Second Street in El Cajon, correct? Yeah, the friendly city of El Cajon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had twelve oh seven North Second Street. Twelve oh seven North Second in El Cajon, and uh, it'd be a beautiful showroom. I think they'd like it. So it's absolutely. And John has more stories than he told us. Yeah. So go down there, and he'll tell you all the that, great that's stories. That's it. That's it. So yeah. wood, gas, pellet stoves, and fireplaces. It tell. Tell everybody what a pellet stove is and, yeah. and why that's an option. A pellet stove is a, a stove that burns small wood pellets. They're little, little finger-sized pellets. They're just sawdust, compressed sawdust. You buy bags of them. We sell them at 40-pound bags. You put them in top of this hopper, and they go down, and they'll burn. They're mostly for heat. There's not too much ambiance to them, but uh, they're great heaters. And a lot of people that aren't on natural gas or on LP, this is a good alternative. So Because uh, it's less expensive to heat the home. Less expensive maybe, and okay. it's easier than building the wood fire. You know, they don't they I, don't want I would say so. You know, I think about building the fire, pellets would be easy you know, yeah, if you're trying to raise yeah. heat. Now the new ones you just hit a button, they go on automatically, ignite automatically. So people can, can set the rate. Yeah. come out there and go over all the options with Absolutely. you to figure out what's best that, for them, the given their ours, need. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, while you're out Christmas shopping, even if you don't think you need a fireplace or want to do anything, stop by. That would uh, be wonderful. You'll, you'll start right. dreaming. Right. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and if you get cold, you'll warm up when you get in there. That, that's true, too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we keep it nice and warm. Great. And if you know somebody who was stuck in a fireplace, go by and tell John your story. Hey, bring a picture. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, thanks for being with us today. Oh, it was great. great story. I look forward to coming down and, and taking a look around yeah. during uh, during Fun. our holiday season here. Great being here. Thanks a lot. Great. Thanks. thanks for having me. Great. Yep. Wonderful. You're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business, where we get up close and personal with homegrown San Diego Business and the people that are working hard to make a difference in our community. Send us a tweet to Close Up SD or find us on Facebook uh, and let us know what you think. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. <laughs> 